San Francisco 49ers, last year's NFC representative in the Super Bowl. They finished 12 and 5 in the regular season. Is this the year San Francisco finally takes the Chiefs off of their back? Now, this is a high total AB, 11 and a half, but it's juiced to the under at minus 125. Let's start with you. Over, under on the 49ers. I feel like the public is all going to go under, and I'm going to go the opposite way. I'm going to go over here. Give me over 11 and a half wins for San Francisco. I think all of them know exactly what time it is. Brock Purdy has absolutely 100 million plus reasons to have a great season. Christian McCaffrey, George Kittle, keep going down the list. Kyle Shanahan, every single person knows exactly what time it is in San Francisco and that they have to get the job done. Couple that with an NFC West that is Going to be down, very winnable there. I like San Francisco. Give me over 11 and a half. All right. So an over, I tend to go over too because I'm not a 49ers hater. I just know they can't be the Chiefs when they get to the big game. But this is about the regular season and cashing the ticket. Raphael, do you agree with A.B.? No, and I'm not a hater of the 49ers, but I just think that's a big number, 11 and a half. Granted, they have cashed this ticket in back-to-back years, but the schedule makers were not kind to the 49ers, and the odds makers are happy that the schedule makers gave them this schedule because last year they were 11 and 2 by winning by 10 points or more. The 49ers were horrible to the books last year, so we're looking for a bad season, and CMC's already not 100% with a calf strain, so... I like the under 11 and a half just because what the uh, uh, schedule makers did. I don't think they put up 12 wins. I can see them maybe 11, 10, 11 wins. I don't think they go 12. All right. That'd be 11 and six. Remember now it's a 17 game regular season. Soupy, where are you headed? I don't think that they are going to absolutely be terrible, but I'm still going with the under basically because the schedule, they go to, to the dolphins, to the Packers, they play the Cowboys, they play the Chiefs. It's a very, very tough schedule. I still love their offense. Brock Purdy, passing record now. Beat Joe Montana, beat Steve Young, beat Jeff Garcia. My biggest problem is the defense, actually. It's just going to be Nick Bosa, and we don't know a lot of things about that defensive line. And actually, the secondary, they were only 14th in passing yards allowed per game. So that's my biggest question is the defense. But I still think this is going to be an 11-win team at the best. So that's why I'm still hitting the under. 11-win team at the best. Okay. Uh, Charles, nobody got that? Okay. Charles, are we going to go over or under on the 49ers? I make that a uh, three, Pete. I'm going to under 11 and a half as well. Ooh. That Super Bowl loser hangover is a real thing, even though I think uh, San Francisco will win the division, make the playoffs. But I'm also on that 11 game max with the uh, potential losses Jets, Chefs, Packers, Bills, Dolphins, Cowboys, plus the Rams and Seahawks can be tricky. Plus, they have 23 injuries already in training camp. So they're banged up uh, going into the new season. So, yeah, I think about 11 and six is about right. And their best offensive lineman. Wasn't happy. Brandon Ayuk, he ain't happy. So they are going to need to figure things out in the next couple of weeks. AB, do you know what I love so much about the universe that we are building? What's that? Is when somebody joins, everybody welcomes them. Kenny, newest premium member, newest crew member. He joins, and look what the chat looks like. Welcome, Kenny. Welcome, Kenny. Welcome, Kenny. I can't tell you how much it means to us that you guys do that. I mean, in all sincerity, it's amazing. Uh- Hundred percent. I, I, I'm telling you, it, it, it's the best crew in the game. I, I, I've seen and been on so many other shows, and nothing against their audience, but like this is the difference of the crew is part of this just as much as we are, and they take it seriously. It's very, very much appreciated. And Kenny, welcome. If you need anything, holler at us. You're damn right. And all the people we're meeting with right now, they say community is like one of the first words they say when we get into these meetings. We love the community. Dead serious. I would not lie on that. All right. Props for the 49ers. AB, where are we going? We're going to go George Kittle over five and a half receiving touchdowns at plus 100. Okay. If everything is even with the 49ers, let's just say 11 to 12 wins right where the books have them. George Kittle is going to get his numbers. 
But if you think that the 49ers are going to take a step back, Brock Purdy's going to have a tough season, guess what quarterbacks do when they have a tough season? They find their tight ends. That's their yep. safety valve. They will use George Kittle, especially if Red and Ayuk, and that entire situation goes south. All right? Now, the problem with San Francisco and betting props is that there's only one football, and there's so many stars. And trust me, their brand-new wide receiver, Ricky Bearsaw out of Florida, the dude can go he's the perfect fit for san francisco and you know how i feel about our man Jawan jennings jr but <laughs> it will get his touchdowns take him over five and a half that's a very attractive one. liddy says i love that kittle pick robbie says if you can bet his anytime touchdown against dallas bet it now kittle will get three of those against the cowboys probably right by the way ab if people haven't watched receivers on netflix you'll become a whole new fan of george kittle if you've watched that show it's amazing. It, yep. It's amazing. I'm such a fan of his now, and I was before, but a bigger fan now. Soupy, let me come over to you. Where are you headed today? I'm going with the 49ers to have the 15 total touchdowns before anybody else because I have questions about the defense, so that means the offense just has to get even better. And Kyle Shanahan, he brings in pieces that know how to work in his offense. Ricky Pearsall is a great example. Even if Brandon Ayuk leaves, they still got uh, some guy named Christian McCaffrey, who's one of the best running backs in the league. George Kittle is a top three tight end. And Debo Sanders is just one of the flashiest, quickest, best athletic receivers in the game. 49ers, first to have 15 total touchdowns. I love me some Debo Sanders. Love him. Tebow Samuel. Lee love me some <laughs> Debo Sanders. <laughs> you the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> Little says Debo. The mic should actually drop oh, now. Your, your boy, DG, never misses an opportunity. He says Debo <laughs> Sanders guys. must be a rookie. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> All right, Charles, I'm, I'm coming over to you. What do you? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Charles. Charles, you gotta take it. Where, where do you like? Where do you like this one going? I'm gonna get um the 49ers with one rushing touchdown in every regular season game. They had 27 last season, so that's basically 1.5, which included Debo Sanders had uh, his part as well. McCaffrey had 14 by itself. So, yeah, I think at plus 2200, this is I, I worth a little sprinkle. Um, thank you, Charles. Uh, we have a serious question from the chat for Soupy because you have made it very clear you're our fantasy guy. So Scott wants to know what round would you draft Debo Sanders in in fantasy this year if they haven't <laughs> had their draft already? Very if, interesting. <laughs> if you are in the, if you're picking anywhere past fifth, don't even think about it. He's already gone. He'll be gone. He'll yeah, be gone. He'll be gone. He'll Such be a gone. hidden gem that guy is. Yeah. Uh, Raphael, last 49ers prop. Where are we headed? Oh, first of all, I love George Kittle prep that AB said. That was my second one I was going to pick. But I had to go back to CMC because of his injury. I mean, he's always injury prone. And if he's starting off the season injury with a calf, I don't have a calf muscle, so I can't say what it does. But if he has one now, it's probably going to linger all season long. So I'm going to take that under five and a half uh, receiving touchdowns. He's cashed this. This one is cashed six out of seven times he has played in seven seasons. So I think this goes under. We are not just throwing things at the wall. Make sure you write these down. You don't have to bet all of them because we're giving you props on everything. But if you really like something, get it in, put it in a different book, and let it marinate for the next four months, and then we all cash together at the end of the season. A.B., before we get to the Rams, do you know who didn't show up today? Who's that? Big Cheesy. Oh, not yeah. In the chat. Nowhere to be found. Did he say he was like he, he had some kind of vacation or something? Yeah, he hasn't missed a show in four months. And today is vacation day for Big Cheesy. It's all right. Always my man, my man already knows the 49ers are going over 11 and a half. <laughs> he ain't sweating. <laughs> he doesn't have to be.